Hi everyone, back again. Okay, so part two of embellishing. I'm going to grab this doily next. And in the kits that I showed or am giving away, oh, sorry, <laughs> that I showed in the giveaway video, um, you're getting a smaller doily. I ran out of coffee dyed small doilies. So I have just picked up a medium sized one for this kit here and it's a bit of a it makes a bit of a difference because now I've got to find a bigger spot to put it and the only spot that I kind of have left that will give me a good contrast of colors is this pink page so I'm just going to put it here and my glue is going all stringy after saying that so I'm just going to wipe that off and I am getting to the end of my glue too, so it can take a while to get to the end. And this could be a bit messy with all these gaps in the doily. But we'll try. Okay, and then I'm just going to stick that onto this page. And then, yeah, you can write on that or it already makes a nice collage piece so you could put photos and things over the top so that you're not coming to a, just a straight blank page there's already something there to work with and then just going to find the other pink page and stick the other, other side on ah my glue <laughs> I think they should invent a glue that it just doesn't stick everywhere. <laughs> like can just stick to paper and not anything else. Okay. There we go. So then we have a doily. Um, what next? So I'm thinking I want to do um, a fabric flip, of course. You've got to have a fabric flip. And I'm just looking for a section... Um, look at my glue, not fun. Okay, looking for a section that will look nice. So I, <laughs> again, going for the blue. So I'm just going to cut down here and rip that. And <laughs> I ended up putting so much fabric in there now that I'm looking at it all. Um, <laughs> so... I'm going to, you could make lots of fabric flips if you want, but yeah, that's why I made quite large pockets out of it, to try and use it up. And I'm not too sure how to use the rest, so I might have some left over in the end. Um, okay, just getting all these fragments off, threads off. <laughs> And now to find a place to put it. So again, just going to flick through and find a page. And this is pretty much what journaling looks like as well in my personal journal. Um, once it's made up and I know what I want to journal about, I just look for a page where what I have to write about or stick in um, will match up with the background pages that are already there. So I could do it here if I wanted. And I think <laughs> I always do check to see if there's any better place. Okay, now that's sticking. Oh, I will have to peel that off. That's another good thing about fabric glue. It peels off quite easily, whereas the craft glue, once it sticks down, it's pretty much stuck. See, long nails is good for this. So, um, oh, we'll do that later. It's all good. So, yeah, I'm going to stick it here, and then it can be like a secret journaling spot there. As in, when people flip through your journal, if you let them. <laughs> 
they usually just flip three pages without lifting things up or taking things out. So I am going to stick that there or maybe like that. No. <laughs> I'm really just going with the first option in this journal, aren't I? Okay. And then it can be a little tricky stapling because the threads can get all caught up together, but I'm just going to do two staples, I think, maybe three. Okay, yeah, so it bunched up a little bit there, but that's okay. You can just flatten it out. And I like that there, so that's pretty cool. I like that with the contrast. And then you can journal all through here. If you want, you can, I don't know, put a photo of that. <laughs> I really like that. Um, that makes me smile. Okay, so next I am going to grab one of the coin envelopes and what I discovered was the letter, the typo card, actually fits perfectly in here. Isn't that cool? So <laughs> there is a ready-made journaling card and um, again, <laughs> you're going to see the pages of this so many times as I just flip through to look for a page where I can put this. And I'm thinking maybe even here on there. I'm liking that because the yellow, see how the yellow kind of brings that out. So I'm Again, I'll, I'll just check just in case there's a better spot, but I can kind of tell I'm really liking that. So, yeah, uh, I mean, I could put it here, but actually, no, that's pretty good too. Let me just, and in fact, I'm going to put it over this side because this one already has a flap, and so this one doesn't, and I'm going to put it here. And because this is a pale yellow, it's going to bring this out even more. So I am going to put it right there. Um, I'm going to use double sided tape for this one. So I'm not sure what I'm going to tuck behind this little coin envelope, but <laughs> we can figure that out later. And in some, you can even just leave them because then it gives you space when you come to journaling your own things in it. There's still enough space for you to put your own things in it. So it's not just ephemera, um, the pre-made pre stuff that you put in to decorate pages. But then you can add your actual own journaling stuff, if that makes sense. <laughs> okay, so that's going in this corner here. If I can stick it down. Awesome. Okay. All right. I'm just going to make a stamp collage because I think I gave five stamps in each kit and I really like how um, they look together. I did this in my own journal and liked how it turned out. So I'm going to play with it here. And I'm putting it on the actual envelope. And I like that idea as well because stamps, envelopes, goes together. Um, and just a matter of working out what I'm going to do with these um, different sizes. Is that going, which way is that? I didn't really want, ah, oh, okay, it's a person's head. <laughs> Okay, so um, I'm just the colors kind of because I got two green and two red, and I kind of just want to break that up a little, but then the sizing kind of goes weird here. So I could even just leave it like that, or like that, or like. <laughs> so this is what I mean by. <laughs> playing around, um, you know, I think again, just the first option is just seeming to, <laughs> here we go, okay, so, 
So where is my tissue? Because this is going to get messy again. All right. And again, it's all just me. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, let me just see if I can fix that. Yeah. Um, what was I saying? Um, <laughs> these uh, stamps are just fun. Like they're just another added element. Like you don't need to put them in the journal. But it's just fun to have something different. All this variety of different things that you can put in a junk journal. That is going to spread everywhere. So I'm going to wipe a bit off. And for me it's got special memories. Because this is the first time I bought something through one of the Facebook groups. Uh, it's like a D-stash group I think. Or a a junk journal barter group. I can't remember which one it was, but um, I can never work out. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, I bought this from a lovely lady and I got about a hundred stamps. And again, I never thought I'd be buying stamps. All these things, now that you, I do junk journaling, I, I'm collecting all these things that I never thought I would ever get. Lace, Ribbons, trims, fabric, oh my goodness. <laughs> a sewing machine, like, never thought I'd get a sewing machine. So, stamps is just another one of those things. Okay, so there's my little collage of stamps. And I will have to peel that glue off. <laughs> Alright, what next? I think... Um, where is my ribbon? So, okay. What I'm going to do is find one of those flaps. Either this one or where's that other flap? So I know it's that grid paper. Where are you? So I've got this one or I've got this one. Hmm. I kind of, because it's so close to there, what I want to do is put it on this one. And then I love doing this. It's so simple, but you'll probably have seen in all of my, or well not all, <laughs> lots of my journals, I do this flap thing with the ribbon. And I usually put a flower but I've, I'm running low in my flower department, so um, for these kits, instead of a flower, I've just included a bunch of other little things. Okay, so I'm going to stick this one down. Okay, and just close that up. <laughs> and sticking this one down. And then to decorate that, let me just trim that off. I'm going to open this little bag of um, glittery things <laughs> and just see what's in here and pick out maybe some buttons. That's kind of a fun shape. So, um, I thought I included five buttons in every kit. <laughs> this one I just put together in a rush so that I could do this uh, video. I'm pretty sure all your kits have five buttons. <laughs> I'm missing a button here. <laughs> but I can still make it work. So what I'm going to do... Ah, oh, that's such a lovely button. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's kind of iridescent looking. I don't know. <laughs> um, do I do it in order of size? Or maybe... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Um, oh, no, I don't like that. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. 
I think maybe I do just do it in size so that the blue can stand out. Or maybe, or maybe. <laughs> Look at me. If you're at home watching this and you're, you can see exactly what to do. <laughs> That's, I wish you could shout it out to me. <laughs> um, but again, the thing is, it really doesn't matter what you do. Because once you do it, I think it looks good. Okay, I'm just going to go that way. Just for a bit of a contrast. I don't have much of a colour variation. It's more just size. Or let's just put that there. Ah, see now I'm getting strings everywhere after saying that. And again, this is just like, you don't need buttons. You don't need ribbon, but it's just this added extra element of interest to the journal and all these different things you can use. So pop you here. And lucky last. And that's also what I mean about like, I was pretty sure there's five buttons in a kit, but I'm not fast that there's only four in this one because it's, you can still make it work. If there were five, I'll just scrunch them up. <laughs> um, okay, so that just goes like that. What I'm gonna do for the other flap is just really simple and use this. I'm just gonna um, put you here so that it doesn't stick. And then I'm just going to have to put you like that for now. Um, and what I'll do is put this trim along this one. And I think I want you to go that way. Cool. So, cut you here. And I gave quite a lot of this, so I'm not sure what to do with the rest of it, but anyway. Um, and then I'm just going to stick that here. Again, just really simple, but just adds that interest. <laughs> All right. And again, I, you can kind of see my style in terms of my process is very um, kind of symmetrical, structured, methodical. Um, Any time that I can do the same thing on each side or element, <laughs> I do like with my envelopes, two envelopes, with these flaps, two flaps, and with each flap, a bit of trim on each one, same kind of thing. I could decorate that with some bits and pieces like sequins or something and that actually looks pretty cool but I might save those for some other things. Um, I'm going to do the charm next I think. So I'll show you what I do with this. There's my little charm. I love this feather. Isn't that sweet? Pretty sure, I, who was it? Suzanne? Did I get you? get this from you in Happy Mail. I love it so much. And you gave me quite a few and they're gorgeous. So I'm going to find, um, let's see, a thicker page and this one's perfect actually. I'm going to just punch a hole. I love this. This is a handy tool to have. I'm just going to punch a hole in here. So it's a thicker page so it can hold up to the weight of the, not that it's heavy at all, but you know, <laughs> the charm and the garment pin. And then I'm just going to stick that there. And then it kind of just, it does stick out a little, but, oh, look. <laughs> but that can just dangle however it wants to dangle. And 
and there's just an extra bit of you know interest again a charm there so the other thing that I think I want to do is over here I do like to embellish this so I mean embellish like just a little a little thing <laughs> so I'm just looking I like to use these to do it pink blue again you might be like choose that color or choose this color <laughs> um, it's tossing up between these and I think I'm just going to go again you're probably like just going this color this color um, <laughs> And oh, I am just going to go with blue to bring out that, even though there's a ton of blue here. That's just what I'm going to do. Again, just a little touch, but it's the details that really make it stand out and make it fun. And they all add up, like you put enough little details here and there. It makes such a really cool journal. Cool. <laughs> um, so I was going to do a um, oh see now my glue I can hear it when it just squirts out like that I don't know if what it's the pressure that it builds up in there or something and it all just comes out so you just have to close the lid all the time um, oops sorry what I want to do is find some scraps. So, where are my scraps? Okay, actually, no, wait. I've got this vellum piece. Let's do this first because this will be quick and easy. And just keeping an eye on the time, I've probably only got... Like, I don't want this to go <laughs> over 25 minutes. I did a 30 minute one and it took so long to upload. My goodness, I couldn't go to bed because once you turn off your laptop, <laughs> all that, like you get halfway through the uploading and then you just waste it all. <laughs> and I'm staying up so late just to wait for this thing to upload. Um, anyway, so what I will do for this is like, I like putting it somewhere where there's something on the background. Sorry, I'm not in frame. Because um, it, it is vellum, so you can see through it. And I, I actually really like it. But um, let's have a look again for maybe a better place. Again, you could just do it there. Oh, that's so sweet. Uh, <laughs> or here. I do like it where it was. Okay, so it was one of these pages, wasn't it? Well, I wouldn't want to do it there. Um, I'm actually really liking that. I haven't done that before, put it on just straight writing, but I really like that. So I will put it here. Cool. All right, I'm just going to grab my double-sided tape again. <laughs> that just rolled off the table and now I've got this huge, massive, long thing. Oh my goodness, I have to roll this thing up. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> All right, wait a sec. I'm just going to do this first. Okay, trim that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so much tape and look, it's just sticking to everything now. Okay. Crafting can be messy. <laughs> but it's all good. When you see a mess in crafting, I just think it's, um, it means that you've had fun. <laughs> So here is just a little <laughs> vellum pocket. Look at that tape, it's ridiculous. Uh, okay. So 
So we're going to have a little vellum pocket. Beautiful. And just for now, I might keep it there, but I'm just going to put maybe that tag in there. Or this one. Uh, let's just put that in there for now for the contrast of colour. Um, okay, cool. I've got to stop this video and I'll see you again in the next one. Thanks. Bye.